This is a recap of World War Z. Former UN Ambassador Jerry Path and significant other Karen wake up with their girls Rachel and Constance and go to a family breakfast. Jerry tells the youngest girl Constance he quit his job to put more energy into. Family in the television carries limited coverage of crisis and martial law discussions. Then, they sit in Philadelphia's heavy traffic while the city is backed up by hordes of zombies. These attackers move fast, swallow individuals. The road is an offender bender during a mad rush and Jerry realizes that a hitman needs about 12 seconds to turn around. As the confusion spreads, the path escape from the city in a taken RV. They stop close to Newark, New Jersey at an enormous food store where Karen load up on anything food she can search and Jerry can find drug when his oldest girl, Rachel, who is experiencing a rough asthma assault because of the shock and stress of what has been going on with them. His significant other is gone after by thieves, Jerry shoots one of them and Karen is given up. Briefly, it looks like a cop could capture Jerry in spite of his holding the rifle over his head yet the official is basically searching for provisions himself. Outside the store the family takes shelter in a high rise in Newark. The paths conceal out in a little condo with a Latino family. A kid named Tomas communicates in English and deciphers for the paths. Jerry, accepting that the most obvious opportunity with regards to endurance is to continue to move, can't persuade Tomas' family to leave with them. The following morning, the paths creep through the generally deserted apartment attempting to find the rooftop. However, the undead recognize them and they are pursued to the rooftop. At the point when Jerry is gone after by a few zombies, they eat blood on him. Showing up on the rooftop, Jerry moves toward the edge, prepared to hurl himself off on the off chance that the blood spilled all over makes him turn. He doesn't end, subsequent to holding off one more crowd of the undead, the family sheets the chopper and breaks. Helicopter takes the paths to a U.S. Naval Force plane carrying warship off the shoreline of New York City with an entire gathering of different outcasts. There is group of researchers and military faculty are investigating the extent of the overall episode. Terry is hanging tight there for themselves and sets them up with bunks. A virologist, Dr. Andrew Fastback, contends that the plague is an infection whose beginning should be viewed for an immunization as evolved. In light of his mastery as a previous UN examiner, Jerry is entrusted with assisting Fastback with tracking down the flare-up source. Jerry hesitantly consents to help on giving the word that his family will be protected and is shipped off Camp Humphreys, an army installation in South Korea. Minutes in the wake of showing up at the base, Jerry's group is gone after by zombies. The gunfire cautions the zombies wandering the region, constraining Jerry and the team to run. Subsequent to being safeguarded by the base's enduring workforce, Jerry discovers that the zombies are drawn to clamor. The troopers on the base, lead by Chief Speak, make sense of that a Korean fighter had been out in the field doing explore when he was gone after and turned. Drawn to the singing, the zombies outside start to climb the defensive wall shaping a huge heap that in the end prevails with regards to entering the city. A youthful Israeli lady warrior, Segan, Jerry's escort, is chomped by a zombie. He rapidly severs her hand to stop the spread of the contamination, building up to 12 until he's certain that she won't turn. Jerry and Segan in the end come to the air terminal and figure out how to board a Belarus aviation routes carrier after Jerry's pilot frenzies and takes off. A stowaway zombie is let out of the freight hold and goes after an airline steward. Plane accidents close to Cardiff after Jerry explodes a projectile to eliminate the zombies. Segan and Jerry continue as the main clear overcomers of the accident. Jerry has been skewered by a lump of metal. Segan finds him and they stroll to Cardiff and track down the WHO office. In the wake of showing up at the office, Jerry drops at the door and gets up three days after the fact tied to a cart his injury has been dealt with and bound. He can persuade the staff of the office that he's there on a particular mission. The men watching him call his better half satellite telephone. Terry picks up the telephone and lets Jerry know that his family were thought of unnecessary workforce and were migrated to a land-based office. Jerry is vexed however Terry can confirm Jerry's character to the dubious who staff. Jerry uncovers a hypothesis to the vigilant researchers that since the elderly person and the wiped out kid in Jerusalem were disregarded as well as a destitute wino Jerry momentarily saw in Newark. Since they would be unsatisfactory as hosts for viral multiplication, he to infuse himself with a terminal yet treatable microorganism to check whether his thought works. Nonetheless, the wing of the structure in which the microbes are put away was overwhelmed by zombies after a specialist unintentionally tainted himself. Jerry chooses to recover a microorganism in any case, while Segan and one of the WHO specialists follow him for reinforcement. They battle their direction through the zombies, and Jerry at long last gets to the microorganism vault. Inside, Jerry fills a little box with vials of microbes from two separate cupboards. Jerry prepares to leave and sees one of the undead specialists outside. Cornered and without a reasonable weapon, he chooses to infuse himself to check whether his hypothesis will work. Jerry holds up a brief time frame and makes the way for the vault. The previous specialist disregards him and Jerry can leave, past the crowd of zombies that have invaded the office. After he returns to the protected piece of the office, everybody celebrates at his hypothesis prosperity, and the specialists fix him of the microbe. Jerry gets back to his family, in a protected zone in Freeport, Nova Scotia. A immunization got from destructive microbes is fostered that can go about as cover for the soldiers engaging the contaminated. Human offensives start against the zombies, and trust is re-established.
Jerry remarks, this isn't the end. Way off the mark. 